Hello, and welcome to Start A Pot TV. I'm your host, NJW, and I'm back with another crime news episode of Crimes Across America. Just take this travel with me. Today we're in Phoenix, Arizona. Let's see what's going on in Phoenix, y'all. If we can get it together. Cast, we told you about some of the grisly new details in the murder of a gay Phoenix man named Bernardo Pantaleone, whose family believes was targeted in a hate crime. The crime has similarities to a high-profile unsolved murder of another gay man from Phoenix, Benjamin Anderson. Now, we don't know if the two could be related, but there is concern that these two men were tortured and killed. The crimes less than two years apart. True crime correspondent Brianna Whitney here now, and you've been looking into the similarities of both of these cases. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Right. There are some important factors to look at in both cases here. Whether or not they are proven to be hate crimes could absolutely influence how long the killer or killers could be in prison or face the death penalty from a legal perspective. As from an investigative perspective, detectives will need to determine if there are any ties between these two murders, as there are some similarities with both location and execution that have some feeling unsettled. It's the worst kind of evil a family could endure, receiving images of their loved one dead from the alleged killers themselves. According to court documents, that's what Bernardo Pantaleone's family had to go through late last month after Bernardo, an openly gay man, was reportedly tortured, then murdered. To get that news, I understand. I get it. it it's not. So no, uh, not, all of, not only did they kill him, they, they actually sent pictures to the family after they killed him. That is crazy. So that's torture on months torture. So you have to live with that as a family member when somebody's seen you that. That's that's a uh that's crazy. It's horrible. Dan Stahoviak went through something similar in January 2022 with his best friend Benjamin Anderson, who was also openly gay. The fact pattern around this particular situation, this murder um, it's a little bit too similar to Ben's situation. According to court documents, Bernardo was shot multiple times, then his body mutilated. His family says he was found naked at Mountain View Park on November 26th. Court documents show Jose Rodriguez, Leonardo Santiago, and Manuel Carrasco Calderon carried out the gruesome murder, posted about it on social media, then sent pictures of it to Bernardo's family. His family believes it is a hate crime because the alleged killers wrote on social media that homosexuality wasn't allowed in the North Side and cheered about his death. This is pure anger. This is pure hatred for somebody else. As for Ben Anderson's case, he went missing on New Year's Eve heading into 2022. So I'm taking it that they're going around killing gay men because they don't condone somebody's lifestyle. Now, I, I can't say that I do, because as long as you don't bring it towards me, you are right with me. But you can't kill somebody for the way they think and the way they act. That's their preference. If you don't believe in it or you, that's not your preference, stay away from them. That don't mean it's harm them. Dan and his friends eventually tracked down his car at a Sheridan parking garage and saw three unknown people driving it, only to find it hours later completely charred in the UEI College parking lot. Ben Anderson's body was found burning hours later in the desert area off the I-17 and Table Mesa Road. Looking at the death of these two men, the location and circumstances are eerie. Bernardo's body found here at the park, which is just about two and a half miles away from where Benjamin Anderson's car was seen driven by three people at the Sheraton and abandoned burned at the school parking lot. Criminal. Well, so now they're going to add in three people because they caught three people. So that's one thing about a crime. If a crime is committed in your area and you get one person get caught for it or a group get caught for it, you get blamed for all of those that happened. So that's, I think that's what's going on here. They might not have been the same three, but since they saying it's three, because they got caught. Defense attorney Russ Richelsoff says investigators should be asking these three men in custody questions. Where were these individuals at the time of that first crime? You know, what do, is there? Do they have an alibi? Can we rule them out as suspects? While detectives in both cases have not come out and confirmed either one as a hate crime, Richelsoff says if prosecutors can prove that, it could change the trajectory of either case. If the prosecutor proves it, it gives the judge 
you know, the ability to to grant a higher sentence in the case. As both investigations continue, Dan Stahoviak says fear for the LGBTQ community is palpable. With so much going on in the world, it's it's the last thing we need to be worrying about is being out and having to live in fear that somebody is angry at us for who we are. All three men in Bernardo Pantaleone's death face one count of first degree murder. I spoke to MCSO today. They are aware of the crime and are looking into both investigations, but don't have any more information on that right now. Of course, we, yeah. we hope there's more to come there, whether there could be ties or whether they're completely different. Yeah. I've well, that's crazy. You know, everybody have their preference and everybody have their don't preference. This is a crime that happens in Phoenix, where Arizona community, which lets you know it goes on everywhere. It's just not in your state or your, your jurisdiction. It's everywhere, and it's not condoned by me or anybody else. Everybody have they, what they do is what they do. I, don't, I can't condone it, or, or you can't make me accept it or make somebody accept it. So that's my take on this. I'm going to the ne I'm traveling to the next city and I'll see you guys on the next visit. This is your host NJW. Thank you for joining me. Hit the subscribe button and I'm looking forward to seeing you guys again. Thank you.